wanted to do, things that interested him we learned about, things that didn't interest him we set aside. I had tried introducing um, basic reading um, elements to him and they just weren't clicking and he didn't want to do it. So it became very apparent that he wasn't ready. If he had been in regular
I'm sure that many unschoolers that are the radical un unschoolers would kind of cringe with me saying that we're using textbooks and it, you know we're going to go week by week through these. But I really feel that if you can read and do simple addition, then in the following years he really can teach himself and learn it, the things that he wants to learn when he wants to learn them. So he would be able to go to the library and say, I want to learn about dinosaurs and go get some dinosaur books and actually read them. Or we can read them together. Um, I don't think that he would be able to do that if he couldn't read. So I'm really trying to force, not force, but push him to learn to read this year. Most kids his age already are reading, but in true Atticus fashion, he does things on his own time when he's ready. And when he is ready, he typically will do it very well or easily. But if you try to say, you're going to learn how to do this right now this way, it's not going to work. It's not going to stick. It's just going to cause frustration. And that's not a lifelong thing. He didn't smile when every other kid smiled. But once he started, he was a happy, smiley baby. He didn't sit up when most kids were sitting up. But you know what? Once he sat up, he was quickly crawling. So following his lead really helps. And it avoids a lot of um, arguments and stress and frustration. Um, if I'm, I sometimes get flack from other people lives about our approach to things but it's working for us and so that's all that matters um, we are enrolled in a umbrella school um, it's called the farm school it's based out of the farm which is in summertown tennessee which if you've never heard of the farm please look it up it's really really unique place at one time it was the largest functioning commune in so they have a school there and their own schooling system. So we fall under that as an umbrella. And one of the perks to that is that they have weekend um, classes that anyone can go to. So I'd like to take advantage of some of those this year. Go to some of the classes and have some fun with that. Um, we learn with life skills last night. him to go help me lock up the chickens and when we got down there he counted all the chickens and he counted all the eggs and we talk about nature um, we talked about water and the clouds you know things that we see on a regular basis and do that are in life and around us we are learning about that um, we, we did some stuff about honeybees because we had bees you may not be interested in going into a hive and seeing the bees up close, but we're still learning about them, and I'm pretty sure that was an unmarked police car right there. Um, so we, we really are using what's around us and following his lead, and who knows, maybe once he's able to read, he'll take off and say, I'm going to learn about this and I want to learn about that and totally really dive into things that are really his interest. So I really think that reading and writing and basic math will open those doors for him. So what do you do? Are you a homeschooler? Are you a radical unschooler? Are you a hybrid? Do you follow a set curriculum? But I'm curious to know what works for you and your family. I know it's a lifestyle, so how does that look for 